Hi, today I'm going to be talking about the difference between CD recordable and CD rewritable, or as they are also known, CDRs and CDRWs. Now, of course, we all know that one you can record on many times and one you can only record on once. But I often wondered, what are the other differences between CD recordable and CD rewritable? I always wanted to take a closer look and really dive into the technical aspect of these discs and really analyze what are the true differences between them. What exactly makes one rewritable and one not rewritable? That's what I'm going to look at in this video. So let's take a look and see what makes these discs different from each other. So when we look very, very closely at CDRs and CDRWs, there are some very fundamental differences that makes one rewritable and one not rewritable. Now I've noticed that many people claim that pretty much any CD player can handle CDRs. Now I would agree with that to a point. I do think a lot of modern, more recent CD players certainly can handle burnt CDs. However, if you happen to own an older CD player, especially something from the 90s or maybe even the 80s, sometimes they can be very finicky in terms of playing a burned CD. That is certainly my experience. Now, recordable CDs are rather different from a pre-recorded music CD released by a major music label. They are coated with metal, and then there is another layer of photosensitive organic dye. Now, different CD manufacturers have come up with different combinations of metals and dyes, and different combinations have differing advantages. One combination is green dye with gold metal, and this was the first blank CD to be developed. And typically this type has a lifespan of 10 years, and it uses cyanine dye. And this was a style of blank CD manufactured by Memorex, Kodak, and TDK, amongst others. The next combination is gold dye with gold metal. And in this one, the dye is thalocyanine, and it's usually more sensitive. This combination was manufactured by Mitsui and Rico, along with some other companies. The final type is blue dye with silver metal, and the blue dye is known as Azo. And these ones are rated to last 100 years. Now I will say that most of the blank CDRs that I have bought over the years fall into this category of blue dye silver metal. Now, when we talk about CD rewritables, it's much more complex and it costs more to manufacture than a regular CDR. Hence, this is why CDRWs tend to usually be more expensive. With CDRs, data is burned into the CDR by heating the dye and the metal to change how it reflects in certain spots on the disc. That change is permanent. With a CDRW, you do not have that dye and metal coating. It uses a metal alloy, and this metal alloy is made up of tellurium, antimony, indium, and silver. The reflective properties change depending on the temperature of the laser. Now, a CDRW drive laser has three different power settings. The high setting heats the alloy to about 600 degrees Celsius when it liquefies. The mid setting of 200 degrees can revert an area back to its original reflectivity. And that's how it can rewrite an area and therefore rewrite a disc. The lowest power setting only reads the data without changing it. CDRW discs also have much less reflectivity, so older CD-ROM drives may not be able to read them. Now, certainly back in the day, you had different types of CD burners. You basically had some that would only take CDRs, but not CDRWs. And eventually you had CD burners that could take both. And I will also mention, most of us had CD burners that we had in our laptop or in our home computer. But as I've mentioned before, some of us also had standalone CD recorders. As I've reviewed in a previous video, I had a Philips standalone CD recorder and it took CDRs and CDRWs. Now, as I mentioned also, the CDRs that I used in that deck had to be for consumer. That is, 
They had to have that branding of for consumer in order to be accepted by that machine. I do talk about that in the earlier video and I will post a link to that in the comments section below. So essentially, that's the biggest difference between CDRs and CDRWs. It's mostly the combination. Again, CDRs tend to be more a die and metal combination, where with CDRWs, it does not have the die and metal coating, it uses a metal alloy. And because of that, the information can be reburned and rewritten on the disc. So that's my look at the differences between CDRs and CDRWs. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you can join us again next time. And please, as always, subscribe to the channel. I post new tech reviews every week, and the best way to stay on top of all the latest reviews is to subscribe. I'd love to have you join our family. Thank you for watching. We'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.